Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Butch Vilena. I'm a diplomate of the Philippine Academy of Family Physicians. Together with me is... Hi, I'm Annie Aquino. The reason why we're here is to talk about health and of course, a wonderful product of the company. Ang pangalan nito is Vidatrain. Now, ganit kayo Annie eh. To start with, according to studies, cardiovascular diseases nowadays is said to be comprising 30% of the leading cause of death around the world. And, alam mo sa Pilipinas, napatunay nila, one out of five Filipinos, okay, may suffer from heart diseases and may die from heart diseases. So, ano po ba yung mga reasons bakit dumadami lalo yung mga nagkakaroon ng heart disease? Kung talaga tanong mo, number one talaga is lifestyle. Lifestyle? So, what what are the factors po ng lifestyle na nakaka-apekto dyan? Ganda dito, exercise is number one. Exercise? Exercise. Ganda itong usapan, Ani. Eh. Para talaga maging healthy tayo, at least three times a week at least ng exercise ang ginagawa natin. Now, number two tayo, sleeping pattern. So, ano po ba talaga yung dapat na pattern na healthy? At least eight hours eight a day hours. para makapag-regenerate tayo ng enough cells para maging healthy talaga yung katawan natin. Aside from that, ano pa po? Food. Okay, food. <laughs> dapat uh, tamang diet. diet ano diet. po ba talaga yung tamang diet? According to the Bulasyo, okay, we need to at least eat five fruits and five vegetables every day. Wow, medyo, wow. medyo madami. Eh, ano naman po yung mga kailangang iwasan? Yung tinatawag ng mga fried food. Ouch! Yan pa naman dito. <laughs> Yan pa naman po yung masarap. Diba? Okay, sample na natin ang oh. fried pork. Pork, ah, pork okay. chop. Fried chicken. Mm-hmm. Fried beef. At yung pinaka-common, french fries. Ah, yes. And hamburger. Tama. It's everywhere pa naman, no? Ang dami mga food chains ngayon, okay? Na nag-o-offer ng mga french fries. At ang french fries daw talaga, sobrang dami ng cholesterol. So, cholesterol po, Dok, parang it gets thrown around. Lagi ko po narinig yung cholesterol. Okay. Pero paano po ba siya nakaka-affect? A few months back, madalas akong nakakaramdam ng kumamalit yung mga braso. Tapos, hindi din maganda yung tubig ko. I know something was wrong with me, with my body. Uh, Siyempre, pag ganun, medyo naapektuhan din yung performance ko sa work. So, I had myself checked by my doctor. There, we found out na makaas na pala yung cholesterol level ko. Narisitahan niya ako ng mga mapababa ng cholesterol. Last month, nung sinundo ko yung mga anak ko sa learning center, bigla na lang ako nahilo. And that's when I found out na high blood pala ako. The doctor also advised me na magpa-easy tree ako. Dahil nabanggit ko nga sa kanya na napapadalas yung paninikip ng bibdib ko at mabilis akong hingalo at mapago. Sa ECG, nakita na may ischemia ko. The doctor also said na kapag hindi ito inagapan, it would lead to heart attack. At doon ako pinakatatak ko. Pag mataas kasi ang cholesterol level natin sa blood vessels natin, especially sa blood of course, ang nangyayari dyan yung cholesterol, dumidikit sa blood vessel wall natin. And what will happen? Ito na yung word na atherosclerosis. Yung atherosclerosis kasi, Ani, pag tumapan yung blood vessels natin dito, yung atherosclerosis, yung lumen or opening ng blood vessel, sumisikip. Ano pong nangyayari doon? Yan, number one, hypertension. Yung mga high blood. Ganun high yun? blood. Okay. And I'm sure, pati kamag-anak mo, maraming may high blood, di ba? Yes. So, ang dami pong nagkakaroon ng mga hypertension ngayon. Tama. Are they at risk po sa mga heart disease and uh, stroke? Definitely. Dikit-dikit na yan eh. Kaya nga sabi nila, if you will suffer from hypertension, yung risk mo for stroke and heart attack, tumataas na rin syempre. Pero itong alarming. Okay? The youngest client I've seen who died from sudden cardiac death was only 18 years old. Syempre, as a mother, one of the biggest fears would be yung magkasakit ka because your children need you. They depend on you. I mean, it's not about my life. It's about my children and my family. Kasi, paano na sila? I found out na meron na nga nagsisimulang pagpapara sa mga heart ko. So, in-advise nila ako to try and take this with a drink kasi daw yung dilates the arteries. So, aside from dun sa nireseta sa akin ng doktor, I looked around for other supplements and and then I found this with a drink online. If you would like to protect your cardiovascular system, I will suggest inom ka nito. Okay? With a drink. Ano po siya nakakatulong sa, sa heart health? Okay, sa cardiovascular system. Okay, game! Ang pinaka-component talaga nito is Lipo Vera. 
Lycovera. So, ano po yung Lycovera? Lyco means lycopene. Mm -hmm. And Vera is resveratrol. Oh, resveratrol. Yes. Parang medyo narinig ko na nga po siya somewhere. When you talk about trans-resveratrol, okay, ay yung tinatawag na resvida. resvida. The first major component ng ating vita drink. According to clinical studies done around the world, if we will drink 30 or 90 or 270 milligrams of resvida, isang oras pa lang ani, yung blood vessel natin will dilate by approximately 62 to 91 percent. Okay, so ano pong ibig sabihin ng dilate? Okay, luluwag yung blood vessels natin. So just try to imagine, pag luluwag yan, tutulong siya para yung blood pressure mo ay? Bumaba. Very good. So just try to imagine this. If you have a client suffering from hypertension at umiinom ng gamot na binibigyan ng doktor at sinabihan mo nito, tumutulong yung ating produkto to help normalize the blood pressure. So yun, I started taking Vidodrick and in my experience, after taking it in a week, uh, twice daily, eh, mo okay na yung pakiramdam ko. Actually, nag-normalize na yung uh, cholesterol levels ko. Uh, naging normal na rin yung pagtulong ko. Nawala na rin yung and of course, uh, back to normal time, you work performance. So I got it and I tried it for myself. And just over a week, ramdam ko kagad yung effect sa katawan ko. I surprisingly felt normal na. And every time na nagpapa check ako ng blood pressure ko, normal na rin siya. I mean, for the whole duration of time that I was drinking Vida, naging normal yung BP ko. So, I decided to continue drinking it. Sabi sa studies again, done worldwide, if we will drink 75 milligrams of Resvida, and I would like to inform you, Annie, ang isang sachet nito, 90 milligrams ka agad. Ah, so parang mas above po po siya dun sa requirements. Oo, oh, above ah, sa requirements. Ah. Ha. Sabi nila, drink it every day. Okay, within 6 weeks to 8 weeks onwards. Ang mangyari, sustained dilation ng blood vessels by additional 23%. So it means, mas lalo kong luluwag? Luluwag pa. So ibig sabihin talaga niyan, tumutulong siya para i-normalize, okay? Tulungang i-normalize yung blood pressure natin. Okay. Resvida. Number one function yun, Ani. Now, Good news, Ani. Hindi lang dilation ng blood vessels. Malangin pa siyang function. Number two, it can also help normalize blood sugar. You mean it will be beneficial din po sa mga diabetes? Very good. Okay. Why? Ang dami ng mga diabetes ngayon. Bakit? Mahilig kumain ng? Sweets. Sweets! So, drink this one and pati blood sugar natin, tutulungan niyang i-normalize. Pangatlo, it will increase your metabolism. Now, I've been taking for about three months and sobrang okay pa kayo. Tuloy-tuloy ko lang yung pag-inom na Vita Drink para ma-maintain yung normal cholesterol levels ko. At ang napansin ko pa dito, doon sa almost 3 months na tinitake ko yung Vita Drink, eh bumaba yung timba ko. Kasi one of the benefits pala ng pag-inom ng Vita Drink ay eh, pagpapabilis ng metabolism mo. Kaya sobrang okay sa akin itong Vita Drink na keep on taking it para ma-maintain ko yung normal condition ng body. Kaya for me, this Vita Drink is heaven sent. It's heaven sent for a mom like me. I mean, I have more energy for me to play with my kids and not worry about my blood pressure or my heart condition. I trust that Vita Drink does what it needs to do to make and keep my health in totally good condition. Well, good news again, Nani. Ang ginanda dito is stevia. It's not sugar. But it is 300 times sweeter than sugar. Ah, kaya wow. pala matalis pa din siya. Tama. And good news, according to your FDA, nako safe gamitin po ito. Matas din po ang level ng antioxidants, ng anti-cancer ng stevia ng bilag din natin. So it doesn't just prevent heart disease, pati po cancer? Definitely. Ah, maganda Definitely. pala talaga. <laughs> so good. So sabi nga po natin, if you would like to be healthy, Ito yung dalit mong ininom. And again, one more thing I would like to uh, mention to you. It is FDA registered. Ah, so ibig sabihin legit po talaga? Legit, no? yeah. Mm -hmm. Sabi nga po natin, if you would like to entice people, pag tayo po ay nag-promote ng produkto, dapat talaga FDA, FDA registered, registered yan. Para safe. Para safe. So to sum it up, how can we be healthy? Anong number one dapat gawin natin? Of 
course, lifestyle, lifestyle with is? proper exercise, exercise and proper sleep. And of course, Siyempre po, diet. Diet. <laughs> and finally, drink vida. Drink vida. So guys, if you would like to be healthy, drink vida every day. I'm Dr. Vilena with my partner, Annie, saying thank you very much. <laughs>